Okay, guys, we're here today with Gary Tuano, huge honor for me. Probably like one of the most enthusiastic athletes, athletes to watch compete. He did the fastest submit, submission in the ADCC 2019. He also had the best match of the ADCC 2019. So it's really, really amazing to watch him compete. And today he's going to show us here one of his favorite techniques that's called the Victor's Row. And uh, I see him doing that all the time in tournaments and he always catch the, his opponents. So I'm very, very excited to learn from him. So, so it's often uh, illegal in competition for us to jump into our opponent's legs for Kani Basami. All right, Kani Basami being a technique where I jump in towards my training partner and I launch my hips at my training partner looking to scissor my legs and eventually put my training partner to the floor. All right, instead, what we can do, even in mainstream competition today, this is never illegal, is a victor's roll that will make us end in the same position that a Kani Basami would. All we really need is some sort of anchor on our training partner's upper body, okay? It can be collar ties, overhooks, all different kinds of things. All right, as I have that anchor, I'd like my training partner to be leaning as far forward as possible. If my training partner is upright, stand straight upright, okay, it would be a very difficult thing for me to make him roll in a forward direction. So what I will often do is wrestle with my training partner and maybe fake towards the legs to get him to start stepping legs back. Now that he's leaning well forward, I'll take a step between my training partner's legs, I turn myself so that I expose my back to the opponent. As I expose my back, I look to link into my training partner's leg and I perform a roll where I look between my training partner's legs and I roll over my right shoulder. As I perform this roll, I end up in a nice cross ashigurami position, the same way that I would for a scissor takedown, but it's much safer, there's no danger of me falling on my opponent's knee, and I can go right for that same inverted heel hook finish. One more time? Sure. All right, so I'm wrestling with my training partner. I think maybe I wanna get into my training partner's legs. I know I can't hit that Kani Basami, all right? I want him leaning a little bit forward because I know I'm rolling forward, maybe fake the legs, maybe do a couple foot sweeps. As he starts backing up, I collar tie, I step side on, I back step, I link into my training partner's leg, okay? And from this position, I roll over my shoulder, right into the cross Ashigurami situation. From here, exposing the heel, and going right after the finish. Oh, okay, so you use that, that position, especially when the scissor is not allowed, right? Correct, correct. Um, I like the move regardless, um, but I love to do that move, especially in the training room, Good. because it mimics the same idea as the scissor Good. takedown, but it's not dangerous anymore. So I can Good. do this every single day. Whereas the scissor takedown, I can only practice with friends like when I really know it's a safe situation and we're drilling, you know? So this becomes muscle memory for me, and the scissor Good. takedown is a little bit more, I don't get as much practice. Sure. So. No, but it's very interesting because you were telling us like uh, not so long time, not so much time ago that uh, John is very good on implementing like judo and wrestling for submissions. Sure. So this is almost like an uchimata, right? But In instead way, of going to the uchimata, you go for the submission. Yeah, right? I would say if there was any martial art where this is probably found the most, it'd be more likely to to be sambo. They tend to roll yeah. into legs. Uh, I believe that's uh, it's quite often used there. Um, but it's used in all different kinds of competition. You see guys do it in mixed martial arts. I'm trying to use it in mixed martial arts. Yeah. Um, actually, I think I have hit it once in mixed martial arts. Uh, the guy was down on one knee, I hit it against Rahul Raju. Um, it's a very effective technique. It's a great way to get into the legs, and like I said, it's safe to perform on your training partners on a day-to-day -day basis. The tough part is you gotta learn how to roll over your shoulders. Some people get a little oh, nervous about it. You know, sure, sure. Oh yeah, man, that was amazing. So guys, we just showed an entire structure with Gary, all about submissions coming from the stand position. So he's really, really good on that. If you watch his matches, he's always like engaging standing, and instead of going for the takedowns, sometimes he goes for the takedowns, but many times he also goes straight to the submissions, which is even better than the takedown. So the structure came out amazing, and it's gonna be at bjgfanatics.com soon, so maybe by the time you're watching, it's already there, so make sure to check that out. What was Gary? Thanks a lot. Thank you. Please help me out to grow my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe. And to watch more videos, just click under see more videos. I hope you enjoyed. BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.